Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the rasterization remove black macro. Uh, there's different variations. You're going to find um, round in different sizes. You're going to find line in different sizes. And you're going to find cosine. So those are the different styles of halftone that you can apply to the artwork. Now, what's great about these specific ones, the rasterization remove black, is it's going to go through the rasterization. Uh, these are really for, you know, a quick run and gun when you don't want to spend time doing any sort of knockout, customizations, or anything like that. This will take care of actually n removing the black and uh, creating the 100% opaque pixels, but you're also going to have that nice variation um, in the areas that you remove the black, the dots will step at a different st size uh, depending on the percentage of transparency of those pixels. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember, this only works with one layer at a time. So turn off the layers that you don't want to do it to. So I'm going to turn off the text. I'm going to turn off the garment color. And then, for example, let's go ahead, um, for illustrative purposes, select the biggest dot. So I'm going to do rasterization, uh, remove black, 30 round at a 22 degree angle. So we'll click that. Now this is the original artwork. Um, I didn't do any sort of knockout black. It has all the transparency fading and everything you can see. Um, and what happens is it runs through the process, it removes the black, and does the rasterization to the artwork. So you can see those are some pretty big holes that we've knocked out. Um, it really depends on your capabilities in printing, uh, but you have that option, something big. And you can see at a distance, um, you know, there's a lot of blending going on. I think it's more apparent with the um, textured rip out the tear out that the leopard's doing to the shirt it's a little more obvious there but in in the actual leopard itself uh, the dots are harder to see and as you can see as i zoom in there's variation mm. in the dot size so that is rasterization remove black and you have multiple variations so let's go through a few more samples of that so i'm going to delete the result turn off the garment color turn back on the original artwork Let's scroll down, and this time let's do the smallest line option we have. So we have an 18 line at a 22 degree angle. Uh, these are just suggested sizes. If you guys find different sizes you like, please contact me. They could be added into a later update. So with the one layer visible, everything else turned off, I'm going to go ahead and select the 18 line at a 22 degree angle. Remove black. So depending on the speed of your computer uh, will be the speed that these kind of run through. Okay, so that was right around, I'd say, the 10 second range. And here's our result. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll turn on the text, we'll turn on the garment color, and you'll see that it has applied a lined rasterization. And you can see that these lines kind of taper in the areas that the black gets removed, which is really nice. Uh, and you can see the shirt garment here um, effect being torn out that's been line half toned or rasterized. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good result. The 22 um, degree angle is probably the better angle for the human eye to kind of create that, that faux blending at a distance. You can see it kind of gets smooth here. But you can also see that the areas um, with the t-shirt effect tear out um, are a little more apparent, a little more white, but that's where the editable knockout um, function comes in handy where you can actually prepare it and then rasterize. But this function here, remember, rasterization remove black will be the function to just run and gun get it done. You just click that, it's going to take care of a black removal um, and actually apply the rasterization as well. So let's finish it up. I'm going to delete that result, turn on the original, turn on, uh, we'll turn off the shirt color, turn off the text, and let's scroll down, remove black. And let's do the cosine. And this one I'm going to do the smallest cosine, 22 degree angle here. Click on it. I only have that one original artwork layer visible. Everything else is turned off. And we'll give it the, the well, that was even, I guess, faster than the previous one. So here's the result. And we'll turn on the garment color, turn on the text so we can see the complete design. And you can see we've got that nice cosine dot applied. Uh, it's really small, so it really depends on your printing capabilities. And, you know, for the most part, this is ready to go to your rip where you can apply the underbase and get this thing printed. So that is the rasterization remove black function in its multiple variations and sizes.